Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sid and I make videos about creating a life that I love to live. I feel like it's been a while since we've just sat at the couch and had a little chit chat and caught up. So let's chit chat. Let's talk about some things. One new way that I'm creating a life that I love to live is redefining my relationship with sugar and trying to eat a little differently and eat better. I recently made the decision to eat fewer sweets and no added sugar and just a lot less sugar. And that's because I recently went to the dentist and they said I have like four cavities and I need four fillings. And I was just like, okay, that's a lot. And I feel like I just had treatment on some of my teeth last year. So I was kind of disappointed to hear this. I had two dentists tell me this, so I do need the fillings. And it really had me thinking like, I need to work on my relationship with sweets. Now I know whenever you go to the dentist and you hear something about you need some sort of treatment done, it's always a reminder to you know focus on your brushing habits, right? Like your flossing, your tongue scraping, your rinsing, all of that. And absolutely, yes, like keep up with those good habits. But for me, this particular appointment just really had me step back and think about the fact that I have been eating a lot of sweets lately in a way that just makes no sense. Like, it really just makes no sense. I treat candy as an everyday snack and not really a treat. Like, I will sit at work at my desk and just snack on candy. I will eat sugary cereal in the morning. I will just eat candy while I watch TV. And I just started to do more research about what it's like to have a low sugar diet or even a sugar-free diet, which I'm not doing, but I did research on that. And I just learned that there are so many benefits that people experience, having better energy, having better skin, of course, having better teeth, just having all these positives from really cutting back on sugar and being more mindful about eating, uh, of course, more whole foods and protein and things like that. So I was like, you know what? I wanna try it, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna give it a try, I'm gonna shop better, I'm gonna eat better, and I'm going to snack better. Eating less sugar just can't hurt me. You know, I feel like it can only benefit me. I um, mean, the reason why I'm not doing zero sugar, which is popular, and I did look up some experiences of people doing that, I'm just not interested in that, to be real. I feel like everything's fine in moderation, including sugar. Um, so for me right now, I'm just focused on eating no added sugar, fewer sweets, fewer processed sugar, that kind of thing. So I'm still eating fruits. I think some people who are really intense with it just cut out fruits too, but I love fruit, so I'm focusing on more fruits right now too. As I looked into it more, I was finding that there are benefits including and beyond dental health. And now I'm wanting those benefits including and beyond dental health. You know, like I want better sleep, I want better skin, better energy, all of that stuff. And I wanna bring you along with me on the journey for the next couple days as I think about what meals to make and the rationale behind why I'm eating these things and trying to eat less sugar. As you can see today, I had scrambled eggs, turkey bacon, uh, banana and peanut butter and I'm drinking green tea which is unsweetened I don't need to sweeten my tea to be happy with it and I will say the peanut butter that I had does have added sugar in it I'm just gonna eat it up I'm just gonna eat the peanut butter because I've already bought it right I'm not gonna just throw food out just because the label doesn't match my goals I'll just try to eat those things more infrequently or eat less of those things if I can but I don't want to contribute to food waste. That's part of the process too, is giving myself grace and knowing that I already have groceries at home that don't fit into this goal, but the goal really is about reducing the sugar and just being more mindful of what I'm eating. So I'm not gonna throw things out, but I will be making better decisions and I will show you how. So I've had my breakfast for the day, which is really filling and I feel like I have good energy from eating this kind of breakfast, but I do need to go to the grocery store today because I'm running out of food. That's like another thing about this process is I'm eating a lot more fruits, which lasts like, what, two days between my husband and I. Like we're at the grocery store so much more often now since starting this goal. So I do have to go to the store. I'll bring you along with me because I'm trying to shop better too. That's a part of this. I have to shop better, I have to eat better, I have to meal plan better. So let's go to the grocery store.
now that that's out of the way, it's time to focus on dinner because it's actually after seven o'clock, which might seem kind of weird because the only meal that I had today was breakfast. But to be fair, that was a late breakfast. I had a late start to the day. Luckily, that breakfast was really filling. I'm finding that um, when I eat that breakfast, I feel really full and satisfied for quite a while. So that gave me enough energy to power through the day as we went shopping. And we had some other errands to take care of too while we were out. So we got to the grocery store later in the day and that's why it's late now. dinner shrimp and green beans very simple and quick to make and I'm also gonna snack on some raspberries after dinner this is good for dinner and I will check in with what breakfast and the rest of my meals look like tomorrow Sunday morning and I'm finishing up my breakfast. I ate most of it. I'm just finishing up some of the fruit for my breakfast and I also have a green tea. I'm also drinking a lot of water throughout the day with this process of trying to eat less sweets. I'm the kind of person that needs to eat breakfast every day. I need it to feel fueled and to feel awake and to feel energized. I can eat the same thing for breakfast for days on end. So yes, I did have eggs and my turkey bacon again today. The reason why I love this breakfast so much and why I've been eating it for a couple of weeks now is because it's so quick to make. I need a very quick breakfast to make as I start my work day. Turkey bacon's really quick to make, so is eggs, so it's just grabbing some fruit. So that's why I love a meal like this. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast and I'll check in at lunchtime. had Ezekiel bread for the first time. Love that for me really. I actually really enjoyed it. I've never had it before because I never really felt a need to but now that I'm having this focus on low sugar or even zero sugar where I can I was like you know what let me pick up some bread that kind of is a best fit for this goal. I've read a lot about it, done some research, and heard some really good things. I've also heard some things that made me a little bit nervous, like about the taste or the texture or something, but I think it turned out fine. I just thawed it in the microwave for like a minute, and then I put it in the toaster, and it tasted like, texture-wise at least, just like regular bread. And I wanted to try this kind of sandwich out today because it's the weekend and I wanted to test out a lunch for the rest of the week, for the work week, because I need a lunch that's pretty easy to make. I hate worrying about what to eat or what to make for lunch for the work week. It's one of the most annoying parts of the work week is to figure out like, what am I gonna have for lunch? But I think the sandwich 
will be a really good meal for the middle of the day. It was really easy to put together. It tastes really good and that's the really important thing. So this is definitely something I'll try to make throughout the work week. Now I'm going to get a little bit of work done, tidy up a little bit, and I'll check in for dinner. I'm not completely certain what I'm going to have for dinner just yet, so we'll figure that out. Okay, so it's time for dinner and we're going to have this holy veggie cauliflower wing situation from Whole Foods. I've never had this before, so we're going to give this a try tonight. It is one gram of sugar and it does have a sauce, which usually with sauces, you see that they are pretty high in sugar or at least have more sugar than this, but this is pretty low sugar. It does have a sauce, so I'm excited to see how that tastes because I can't eat any wing-like or crispy type of food like this that's you know trying to be a wing without some sort of sauce so we're just going to pop this in the oven and see how it goes my baked cauliflower wings and I have a tangy buffalo sauce that it came in I put a little bit of blue cheese in there just to take that spice down a little bit but I think it's pretty good it's my first time having this and Seth rated it a nine eight. an eight oops <laughs> and I don't know what I'm rating this just yet I feel like I need I need some more time but I do feel like I want to take another bite and I want to eat more of it which is a good sign you know sometimes you take something new you taste one bite and you're like, mm -mm, I've tasted what I needed to taste. But I think this is pretty good, pretty successful dinner. And now we'll just relax and have a good night. I hope you enjoyed following me for a little bit as I've tried to make a few meals that are low in sugar, trying to cut down on my sugar as I snack and make different meals the past couple of days. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.